Is it like a zither? Oh, hi, and welcome to another episode of LPN Laundry. First time, here's how it works. I play one side of an unusual record. We talk about it a little bit before. From time to time, some wacky commentary appears along the bottom of the screen. And over the course of it, I'll fold some laundry. It's not really about the laundry, but I have been told that it is oddly compelling. This week, we are going to take a little trip to Tennessee, I think. Well, I mean, the Smoky Mountains with the sounds of the Smokies with Bill Davis and his singing dulcimer. Uh, uh, I don't think the dulcimer actually speaks any lyrics. It's not like a it's not like some sort of a, a you know a pre-electronic synthesizer or anything like that. Uh, it's just a really pretty sounding uh, instrument and a very interesting one. Uh, gosh, I sure wish there was some way to know more uh, about this before we listen to it. Oh, look at that! There is a persuasive essay. Let's check it out, shall we? As the strangely beautiful strains of dulcimer music fill the air, you will experience the pleasure that excited the people of, of the Far East in the 7th century BC. The dulcimer was brought to this country by the early pioneers and found its way across the mountains to become a major musical instrument of the mountain people. Bill Davis has become internationally known as a craftsman of handcrafted dulcimers. His shop in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, is included in the tour guides as one of the highlights of the region. Oh, it gets better. Bill has on display at the Ripley Museums in Blackpool, England, and Santa Rosa, California, his world-famous miniatures, miniatures, the five-and-a-half-inch, one-half-ounce dulcimers. His music has been recorded and is played daily in several of the Ripley Museums. Aided on a few selections by Marianne Phelps, a young folk music artist, Bill has brought to you one of the finest collections of true mountain music. For any music lover or collector of Americana, this album, entitled The Sound of the Smokies, will be a treasured possession. Bill Proctor, publisher, The Nashville Sound. Well, uh, I tell you, uh, this certainly sounds like uh, a lot of reaching for credits. It sounds like a lot of times the credits I used to have to have an MC say before uh, I, they would introduce me back in my comedy days. He's been heard on khaha.com. Uh, either way, uh, I've listened to the first track, and it is lovely. So let's enjoy ourselves, shall we? Uh, the first track is Wagoner's Lad. It may mean lady. Because he is poor They say he 
Next up, Happy Home. Next up, Banks of the Ohio.
Stay away from the Ohio. Uh, oh, Mary, don't you weep. Next up, Silver Dagger. What a friend we have in Jesus, to close it out.
Well, um, that was uh, uh, lovely. Uh, a lot more murdery than I expected it to be. Well, I guess technically Silver Dagger, maybe a murder-suicide or a triple suicide. I'm not sure. Also, really, do you kill yourself with a dagger? They, they had to have, well, I mean, it's, you know, at this time there probably weren't quite so many guns as I imagined I imagine there are now in the Smokies, maybe. Uh, oh, by the way, um, it's not usually about the laundry, but I do want to share this. Uh, this is apparently all the rage, a new way to fold hoodies. <clears throat> Check this out. Uh, it's uh, on TikTok. There is this very excited mom uh, who uh, like jumps into the frame and says, "I found out this." Blah, 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 blah. And here's the way it here's the way it works. You lay it out nice and smooth, nice and smooth, right? And then and then you fold it up, and, and then you fold it up, and then you then you take one arm over here and make it nice and smooth, and you take the other arm over here and make it nice and smooth, and and then you fold this side over, and then you fold this side over, and here's where it gets crazy. You take what she calls the hat, but in point of fact is the hood, and you, you smack it over that way, and, uh, and check that out. It's, um, it's compact, and it kind of, let's see how they are together. Um, so you could, you, you could save some space like that. And they actually, like, you could see, you might see hoodies displayed this way at Hot Topic, uh, if it weren't for the fact that they card at the door and I'm too old. Anyway, uh, thanks as always for joining me. Uh, this is, uh, this is always, always fun. Uh, I appreciate your, uh, spending some time listening to this and watching me fold laundries, uh, hoping at least that it's oddly compelling on some level. Uh, if you would like to see an archive of previous, uh, episodes, uh, you can find those at mattfugate.blogspot.com. Once again, that is mattfugate.blogspot.com. I do take pictures of the front and back covers, and if there's any, uh, other material in there, I always post pictures of that as well. Uh, ain't no scanner big enough, but I try. Uh, and, uh, or also you can connect on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash LP laundry no and or ampersand in there just facebook.com slash lp laundry make sure you like share subscribe oh uh and uh, depress that like button i mean don't don't make it depressed did anyway we'll see you next time